This golden retriever has been titled a superhero because of what he retrieved on the beach one Sunday afternoon. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Humans are not the only beings capable of compassion and empathy. In fact, some people might argue that there are other species that hold a more compassionate heart than we humans do. We all know about the level of loyalty that dogs possess. They would do anything for their owners and are not shy to show how they feel. There have in fact been so many rescue stories about dogs who save their families from trouble. But have you ever heard of a dog saving another animal? Well, here's a story that went all out trying to rescue another animal in need. So, who's the person who owns the dog that did the unthinkable? Well, his name's Mark Freely. He works as a personal injury lawyer residing in East Setauket, New York. This guy's a true animal lover who's also the proud owner of two lovely dogs. His dogs are an English Golden Retriever, Storm, and a Border Collie named Sarah. He also has a rabbit named Speedo. He'd always loved pets ever since he was a little kid, and even though he loves all his pets in an equal manner, there was no denying that Storm was the star of the show. He's indeed the heart of the family. He's been a big help to get Sarah to settle in after she needed rescued. He would also allow Speedo to sleep on his back some days. His gentle nature has resulted in a few troubles of his own, too. And if you're still not convinced that Mark's a lover of animals, here's a good reason why you should. He actually does pro bono legal work for a few local animal rescues and has also fostered dogs for them as well. He was an effective guy when it came to dealing with animals in need, and in the course of the last month, he took a few puppies into his custody. Storm was always helpful to them. The puppies that he took in quickly sized him up. Since he was such a gentle dog, they became very comfortable with him and turned him into a plaything of sorts. They would constantly climb over him and would also nip at his ears. But Storm would never act annoyed or irritated. Mark actually wished he were as calm and collected as he was just like his dog. And as he saw that the dogs were getting along just fine, Mark came up with an idea. Soon after he adopted Sarah, Mark thought it was an excellent time for him to try to teach both dogs to fetch. He assumed that they would love playing and that it would also have a jolly good time at the park. Sarah was not an immediate fan of fetch, but Storm was quite hard to impress and include. It was such a shock for Mark to see that Storm, who had always been so cooperative and helpful at home, become so grumpy. And despite what Mark threw at him, like sticks, balls, or a frisbee, Storm absolutely refused to fetch them. Even though he was a golden retriever, maybe he was an exceptional case for this kind of fun. Mark did not expect that his instinct would pop up when he least expected it to. There was one thing that the crew really enjoyed doing. The two dogs, Storm and Sarah, always loved to go and take a long stroll through Port Jefferson Harbor. This was a beach very close to Freely's home. Mark could get the hint as to why they love spending so much time there. He believes that the two dogs like this route because they're mesmerized by the sight of boats that sail in from the harbor. And since this was the one physical activity that the three of them enjoyed doing, Mark always made sure they did so. He would always try and walk his dogs as much as he possibly could at the beach near his house. However, sometimes due to his busy schedule, he would take them out only on weekends. One of those weekends, Storm ended up behaving in a way no one could ever imagine. So when Mark took both his adorable dogs to the beach for another typical beach stroll, something incredible happened. This was during the middle of July, and the weather was blazing hot. Even though it was hot in the summer, Mark's two dogs were not hesitant to go out at all. In fact, they were very excited. Since the ocean breeze was fresh and abundant, they were okay. So when they got to the beach, even though Mark was fearful that the heat might be too much, he was relieved to see that the beach was not that bad. He was happy to see that the breeze made up for the hot weather. They went about their usual route as they enjoyed the waves hugging the sands of the beach. It was indeed a majestic scene and a wonderful day, until… While they were all enjoying the gorgeous day at the beach, Mark noticed something about one of his dogs. He could see that Storm was suddenly bounding and went closer to the water. He was taken aback by what he saw but initially thought the dog was overheated. New York summers can indeed get a little overwhelming and, moreover, Storm was a long-haired breed. 
Whenever they went to the beach, the dogs really liked to walk on the sand and play around. But this time it was a little different because he'd never seen his dog get so close to the water. Mark became quite intrigued because in all those times they went to the beach, Storm had never done this before. But after some time, he could see the real reason why Storm did what he did. As he observed the peculiar behavior of his dog, Storm, Mark could tell that there was something else that pushed him to be this way. His dear dog was not trying to cool off at all. There was something else. He wasn't just swimming. Storm was eagerly moving towards something. Mark could see that his dog was going towards a lump in the sea. He assumed this to be a dead fish. Since he'd been taking care of Storm for a long time now, he knew all his likes and dislikes. And his Storm had a healthy appetite that would always be ready to munch on yummy fish that was served to him. But Mark grew a little anxious that Storm would get sick had the fish been rotten or poisoned. Then Mark realized that there was something behind all this, something he didn't even suspect. And when the dog finally grabbed onto the lump that called him to the sea, Mark was still not sure what it was. Storm had been swimming towards this all along, and since Mark did not dive in too, he had to wait for his dog to return. So after a few minutes, the dog returned with something in his mouth. This was clearly not a fish. So whatever could this be then? Mark was also concerned about one other thing. He feared that his dog might get in trouble if he swims too deep. Since he did not join Storm, he was fearful that the dog might suddenly drown, and that was a scary thought for his owner, Mark. And then, after waiting intently for his golden retriever to get back, Mark was standing on the beach. For a dog lover, it would be scary enough to look at your dog swim in the big sea. You never know what lurks underwater, so you can never be too sure. Even though the dog didn't seem like he was in trouble or needed help, Mark was still afraid that the worst might happen to Storm. Then the dog was swimming back to shore with the thing in his mouth. As Mark was standing by the shore waiting for his dog to come back with the object that had taken his attention in the sea, he grew even more worried. Was his dog just getting fooled by some garbage being thrown in the sea? Had he wasted his time and energy for some pile of trash that was dumped in the ocean? The revelation that Mark was faced with certainly dropped his jaw. And so when Storm came back in a hurry with the mysterious thing in his mouth, Mark had to wait to clarify what it was. He'd been worried and nervous to see what this adorable dog had come back with. All of his guesses were proven wrong when the dog finally reached shore. Storm was actually dragging a baby deer. He laid it on the floor and Mark assumed the deer to be dead. Storm didn't want to give up the fawn. He used his nose to nudge the deer gently and then proceeded to lick it on the neck. And then Mark could see a faint shaking given by the deer. The deer had been in shock but was still breathing. Storm was lying next to the deer as Mark quickly dialed for him. He didn't know whether the fawn would survive, but his dog's sheer determination made him follow through. It was very fortunate that Mark was an animal lover and a person who'd spent his whole life helping animals. He then made a call to a local group he knew called Strong Island Animal Rescue League. Then, after waiting for a short while, the rescue group arrived, equipped with leashes and nets. The director, Frankie Florida, and his partner, Erica Kutzing, were very quick to arrive. So as they were waiting for the help to arrive, Storm was actually working his magic on the little fawn. During the time the people from Strong Island Animal Rescue League were on their way, the fawn had already grown alert, all thanks to Storm. The fawn then managed to wobble on his legs. Mark and his dogs just watched him dart back inside the water once again. Mark was very puzzled by the way the young fawn behaved. Even his poor dog seemed confused as to why the deer jolted back to the sea. But there was a perfectly good explanation behind this. They're animals of flight. They're going to take off whenever they can, Mr. Florida revealed later in an interview. In a yard, they'll smash through a wooden fence. And after the deer calmed down, it was so shocked to see all the unfamiliar faces. His animal instincts kicked in uncontrollably. Just imagine a helpless and nervous deer waking up to three humans and two dogs. It was definitely enough to make him panic. And despite the fact that Storm had just rescued him a few minutes earlier, he wasn't hesitant to run after the deer once more. And since the animal rescue team was already there, there was nothing to worry about anymore. Mr. Florida did not hesitate to take off his shirt and follow Storm's lead into the water to try to save the deer once again. The deer swam frantically in the sea, but had not swum past about 250 feet before the rescuer managed to grab hold of him. And since the deer was freaking out by the touch of the strange human and dog, it became very difficult to handle him. 
it became a big challenge to hold him properly. This even resulted in a knee injury for poor Mr. Florida. Even this unfortunate accident happened, he still wore a smile and handed the deer over to Miss Cutsing. They didn't want to let Storm's brilliant efforts go to waste. And even then, the naive fawn was not aware of the fact that these people were trying to help him. He was still resisting and could barely be held. The baby deer was constantly thrashing during the time Miss Cutsing carried him back to her van. She then laid him down on a dry towel. Only then did the poor deer start calming down. And as the deer was now calm and rested, the rescuer began a closer inspection. They were able to get that the deer was a three-month-old white-tailed deer. They assumed that he'd probably fallen off a sandy cliff and that he was able to survive only due to Storm's efforts. The dog was truly a superhero who saved the deer's life that summer afternoon at the beach. So after rescuing the deer, Florida and Cutsing gave the responsibility of taking care of the deer to save the animal's rescue foundation. They immediately gave the deer all the medical attention he was in need of. Then a few days later, the deer was in stable condition. He had to be given antibiotics and was also drinking baby goat formula. There were injuries on his head and a close eye because of the fall. And this was not the only injuries that the deer was left with. He also suffered from subcutaneous emphysema, and this basically means that the deer would need a lot of care before the rescuers can deem it fit to go back into the wild. The deer was in no shape to handle the wild as of now. And the dog who rescued the baby deer? Well, he became a social media hero. Since this was such an amazing story, Mark wanted other people to see what an amazing dog he had. He posted a video of the rescue on his Facebook page. Just a short span of time, the video garnered about 5.2 million views. This wasn't all. He was also asked to appear with Storm on TV, morning shows, and New York newspapers were in awe of this dog's amazing story. Mark was indeed proud of the pup. It was so touching, Mr. Freely revealed. It showed he really had a care and was worried about the fawn. Here is a remarkable addition of a few animals helping others. When this tiger cub was born in the Strohen Zoo in Germany, it was sadly abandoned by his mother. So an unlikely helper came into the picture. Who was this? It was a kind-hearted, wired-haired Dachshund called Monster. He adopted the cub, who then died suddenly. But his daughter Bessie grabbed the role as mother and everything fell into place. And this is another case pretty similar to the one before. Meet Choli. This dog is a German Shepherd that went on to adopt a litter of cougar cubs after zoo staff in Russia became a little concerned that the cougar parents might turn aggressive. Judging from the picture, you can clearly see that there are no boundaries and that everyone is comfortable. Domesticated tabby cat Zoe went ahead and took an abandoned wild bobcats after encountering them in an abandoned house in South Carolina. The wild baby bobcats did not take long to form a bond with Zoe. They were in friendly terms with Zoe's own kittens as well. This was such a progressive cat family. Zoe is such an open-hearted cat that's open to help any in need. All the way in San Francisco lives Koa the dog. She's a six-year-old lab who discovered two orphaned rabbits nearby. The dog took in the baby rabbits as if they were her own. Although she'd never given birth to puppies, this dog's motherly instincts immediately kicked in to be there for the helpless baby rabbits. It shows just how compassionate Labradors can be. Rex, the dog from this photo, has actually helped a baby kangaroo that unfortunately fell from the pouch of its mom. The poor kangaroo mom had been killed in a car accident. This unfortunate incident happened in Torquay, Victoria, Australia. The Joey would have definitely met with the same if Rex had not been so alert and quick to rescue. 